First question, front row to our left. Hey, Malcolm. Uh, hey, uh, Anthony, why do you read with the Daily Progress in Charlottesville? What did you guys kind of take away from last year's, your first game of the NCAA tournament last year when you played Coastal Carolina and kind of came in as a heavy favorite, kind of similar to this year? Um, really, it was just us getting a taste in our mouth, um, knowing what it's like to, to be in an elite tournament like this and um, compete for something special. I think we have a way more experienced group this year um, because the year before that we went to the NIT tournament. So we have guys that have been to the NCAA tournament now um, and we know how to, we have, we're poised and we know how to, you know, fight back in tough games on big stages. And I think that's the, that's the strength that we've, we've built over the last year. Um, I th like Malcolm said, I think we have a lot more experience this year. Um, last year, going into the NCAA tournament, when we played Coastal Carolina, if you guys remember, we, we got down by a lot and um, had to fight our way back. And I think that really showed our toughness. And um, I think this year, uh, we can't come into it with that the same mentality. We have to be more focused. We have to be ready. Um, I think we have to be prepared for you know, the teams that they say aren't, aren't that good. You know, I think we have to be ready for that. Doug Dowdy from the Roanoke Times. Anthony, when you play a team that plays three and sometimes as many as four guards, do you feel that you need to be more assertive offensively, that you need to take advantage of that discrepancy? Um, you know, I think uh, within a reason, you know, within our offensive system, I think um, when we have an opportunity to exploit something, I think we will. You know, Coach Bennett, he puts us in great positions to succeed. Um, we've been working on a couple of things in practice to be able to exploit different things. And I think that, um, they, it creates matchup problems for us on the other end, though, as well. You know, um, when they have four guards in and uh, you got guys coming off screens and things of that nature, you know, it creates some matchup problems for us, too. So we're just going to have to be ready at it on both ends. Ashley Mahoney, Charlotte Post. is for Anthony. You're, you went to Charlotte Christian. Is this a bit of a homecoming for you playing here at the arena? Uh, yeah, you know, it's great. You know, last week we were in Greensboro. I grew up in High Point. And, and this week we're in uh, Charlotte, where, where I went to high school. And you know, I, I just think it's great. You know, my whole family's going to be here. Um, I'm blessed to be in this situation. To our left, Anthony. When I, I think Jonathan Jones with the Charlotte Observer. I think when you were at South Carolina, you played a lot of zone there. How has your defense gotten better over these past two years at Virginia? Um, you know, coming into the UVA program, you know, when you're on your official visit, they tell you you're going to play defense and. You're just like, yeah, I bet we're going to play defense. But then when you get here, you know, it's like a slap in the face. Like, you're going to play defense or you're not going to play. And um, I think last year, you know, that was the shock value factor. You know, I had it and I didn't really understand it. Um, but really developing Coach Bennett and the other coaches really working with me and getting me better on my defense, I think, um, put me in the right position this year. Far left. Mike Solarte, Time Warner Cable News. Uh, following up on your Charlotte return, Anthony, you mentioned your family's going to be here. How many other folks have reached out to you this week saying, hey, can you get me a ticket? I'd like to get in. I mean, what is that, what is that whole experience of coming back to a place where you spent so much time, like you, like you did in Greensboro? Um, you know, it's, it's great to see everybody at the game, but leading up to that game is really, really stressful, you know, trying to figure out who's going to get the tickets and things of that nature. Um, last week in Greensboro, I think I had a total of 28 tickets, you know, and I think um, it's great to have the support, you know, but it gets kind of stressful at times, but it's just part of it, though. You know, you get a lot of love from your family and your friends and people you never really talked to the whole year, but once you come back home, they want to get tickets, but I, I think it's pretty cool, though. Front row. Malcolm, obviously you guys got a lot of questions about Taylor Barnett earlier in the week. What, what else, what did you know about Belmont coming into this tournament and how much of an education process is there? Um, with any team, whether or not you know a lot about them, it's, it's different once you get on the court with them. There's always, there's going to be adjustments we got to make um, during the game tomorrow that we can't prepare for today. But watching Belmont in the past, uh, over the course of this season, they're a team that likes to get up a lot of threes. Um, they shoot it. They shoot it at a good percentage, and they they play a fast sort of motion offense with a few sets. And um, 
you know, I think the challenge they, pre they present to most teams is they play four guards, five guards. And um, for a lot of teams, it's hard to match up with. But uh, for us, we play the pack line defense. Um, we have very mobile bigs like Anthony that can move, that can guard um, most players on the floor. So I think we, we will present a good challenge for them. I have. I've seen them play once or twice earlier this year. Uh, just as a follow-up to that, uh, is their style of play similar to Davidson's at all, who you guys played earlier in the year? Very similar. Um, during our uh, practice earlier today, Coach Bennett actually drew that comparison um, because they have a lot of similarities in, in how they get down the court, how they spot up at the perimeter and just run to the three. So we got to be able to close out with high hands and be very alert on defense tomorrow. Front row, wave to the mic, please. Herb White, the Charlotte Post. You guys have had such a really good regular season and then you kind of tailed off a little bit. Do you feel that you, maybe you're under the radar in terms of teams to really watch out for the, during this tournament? Um, I think everybody's going to have their opinion. Um, I think we know where we stand, you know, regardless of how many games we lost in the last week or so. You know, I think that we know what we're capable of. Um, it's just up to us to just go out there and do it. You know, um, everybody says that um, they don't like our style of play or stuff, and stuff like that. But I think that we know who we are, and that's how we're going to win games. And we know that's the only way we are going to win games is to play defense like we do. To our left. Was there one game for you guys that maybe down the stretch felt like a turning point game? Malcolm, if you could address this. The one thing that maybe I'm thinking of, and I don't know if you guys agree, was the slow start at Syracuse and then the way you guys came back and really took over that game and ended up, ended up beating the Orange of the Carrier Dome. Uh, a turning point in what way? In, in the sense that you guys can, you face adversity and you beat it back and you, you go on and, and end up getting a victory. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Syracuse is definitely uh, one of those games for us, one of the games where we've had one of the slower starts of our season and come back. Um, there have been a few games earlier, but that was probably against the best competition and uh, probably the most dramatic comeback because we started off very slow in that game. But I think, again, it speaks to our resiliency and our experience and maturity that we have on our team um, from from playing in a turn from the NCAA tournament last year and then from um, you know, coming together and playing well through the whole season.